it's important to them. You know, this is a big, big day in their life. You know. I'd like to call to order this special uh, closed session of the Santa Barbara City Council. Today is August 14th, 2018. Madam Clerk, will you read the item for us? Item number two, subject, public employee performance evaluation. Government code section 54957 as described in agenda item number two. Very good, and that's for the city administrator today. We'll be adjourning to closed session. Mr. Kalan, did you have something? Yes, Madam Mayor, I wanted to spend uh, about two minutes with the council going through some important laws related to performance evaluations for local agency executives. Oh, very uh, good, thank you. Uh, I know that some of the, the council have not been through it before. Uh, you'll, you can follow along with the handout I have at your places. It's not as intimidating as it looks. Uh, the blue headings are really the take-home lessons I want you to keep in mind. So beginning with that, under the Brown Act, performance evaluation closed sessions are allowed, but you can't discuss compensation when you're discussing performance. And I'm not sure why, but that's the way the law is. Um, if you have significant complaints about the employee's performance, there are additional procedural safeguards that that need to be followed. So for example, if a member of the public complained that I, I don't know, spit on the sidewalk in front of their house, uh, you would have to give notice and an opportunity to be heard to, to me before making any decisions based on that. Uh, now, down the road, if you do want to talk about compensation, you can in the same way you do with labor negotiations. The difference is that Mr. Casey or I are unrepresented employees rather than represented. Um, you would need, uh, um, if you wish to do that on compensation, uh, it's a good idea to create a, a subcommittee of the council that can actually do the negotiation and then meet in closed session with colleagues. <laughs> on to the second page. One of the post-Bell scandal rules is that you can't establish compensation in closed session and you can't establish it at a special meeting. It has to be a regular meeting, um, not a special meeting at 8 p.m. Friday night to give the manager a $1.6 million salary. Uh, <laughs> one that's... Uh, 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 
unusual in comparison to the private sector is that you can't give bonuses. The California Constitution thinks of a bonus as compensation for retroactive retroactive compensation for past performance. So if you want to create a performance-based compensation system, you can do that, but you always need to set goals and objectives in advance that if achieved will result in payment of the bonus. You can't do it after the fact as a reward uh, for, a, for a job well done. Uh, lastly, I'll call out the charter. Your charter includes significant political protections. Remember that that the strong uh, manager, the council strong manager form of government was modeled after corporate America and it was designed to stop the politicization of the operations of the administrative service of the city. So the charter, for example, says that you can't fire the city administrator during the first 90 days after an election. It's intended to create some stability and an opportunity for that person's performance to be evaluated. So anyway, that's all I had to say. I wanted to have this and uh, happy to answer questions. And do these rules apply to the city attorney as well when they, we they review? Do indeed. They do indeed, yes. Okay, any questions from my colleagues on this? We'll do a quick roll call and then go into closed session. Council Member Friedman? Here. Council Member Dominguez? Mayor Pro Tem Rouse? Here. Council Member Hart? Here. Council Member Sneddon? Here. Council Member Gutierrez? Here. Mayor Muriel? Here. And we'll uh, adjourn to closed session. Thank you.